Right, everybody, this, this is George, who was running the day, hosting the day. He'll give you a, a safety talk, and oh, welcome to Water Prior anyway. But George, he's going to go through all the, the health and safety of the day. So if you want to take over, George, just let them know what they've got to do and what they ain't got to do. Okay, okay. Right, well, morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Water. If you haven't been before, welcome back to Water, if you have. Uh, myself, my name's George, and this is young Kieran. Kieran, I'll give you a little bit of in-depth about Kieran. Kieran is actually third-generation keeper on the estate, so some might know, but the head keeper of this estate is called Frank Croft. Kieran is actually second uh, uncle, Frank is, to Kieran. So, um, so it's third generation, and his dad actually works alongside me, who you'll meet today, who's Dave. So um, there's myself, Dave, and Mark, and Kieran will be looking after you today. Apart from that, everyone, enjoy your day. There'll be a horn signal at the end of the drive. Any questions? Okay, we'll draw pegs. Young Kieran will do the honours. I cannot thank Water Priory Estate enough for their outstanding generosity towards these kids. After one day explaining to Frank Croft, the head keeper at Water, how these kids had been so badly treated at our very first Kids on Peg Day. He stepped up and simply said, Leave it with me, Dave. I will see if I can sort a day out completely free of charge. And that's exactly what he did. All thanks to Frank and Water Priory, the kids had a very, very wonderful day. Nearly on it with first shot, then you went, mmm, but stuck tons on it, didn't you? Yeah. little bit different from the ones that we had last year, well, two years ago now, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. And you were, a little, you were maybe a foot, a foot and a half taller from last time I saw you, anyway. Yeah. Are you excited then, Amber? Very yeah? excited. Brilliant. Yeah. That's one thing about game shooting, it's more exciting than anything else. Sorry. It is. Fantastic shooting girl. Okay. Hey, four pheasants there, and good pheasants as well, and, a, and two proper partridges. Well done, that was fantastic, that. And this little girl, she's not long been out of hospital, she's had a bloody serious operation on your back, ain't you? Yeah. But, yeah so yeah. you've had a year off altogether, never touched a gun, have you? Not really, no. So, so this sort of second, second or third time out? Um, I had, I picked it up to do two little clay days, um, one day out this season, and that's been it. Ah, uh, well done, girl. Well done. Thank Got to, it's natural talent, you see. You can't beat it in kids. You'll shoot that big cock bird, man. Well done. No, no, you won't let me down. I got the right man in the right position. I'd just like to say, well shot you two. 
He was downwind of the bird, and I think uh, little Kieran, our uh, uh, we'll call him half size keeper, because <laughs> he's, he's only ten year old. Is Kieran? This, he's, he's helping us the day to day. So but he, uh, he very wisely put these two a bit downwind, and they shot some stonking birds, especially that pretty cock bird and that M bird. It was brilliant. That well done. in the third drive, we're stood with our host for the day, the Water Ferry Junior, Kieran. How old are you mate? Twelve. And hosting the day, pegging everyone out. Your dad works on the estate, doesn't he? Yeah. You've got Dash with you. Great uncle is the head keeper. Yeah, Frank, the main man. Are you gonna fill his wellies one day? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Hope the deal's right. Yep. <laughs> Good man. And Father Tweedle of course. Indeed. Fantastic shooting, but it was a fantastic drive. It was good, yeah. But, yeah, but it was nice to see everybody shooting well, especially Rihanna and yourself. You did shoot some bloody nice birds. Yeah. <laughs> So I've just given a little souvenir out as a bit of a, to remind everyone for their day at water, a little badge at a time. And two are actually missing. Don't worry, we haven't forgot yet. But definitely noticeably today we saw we had, we normally choose a shot of the day. But in fairness, we actually couldn't choose one shot of the day. We actually chose two shots of the day. And one is to yourself. Chloe, well done, Chloe. <laughs> Oh, girl power, man. Girl power. Well done, man. Hey, Steve, George, can I get a tie next year? Any when chance? you start shooting high birds, Steve, you can have a tie. <laughs> well done. Thank you. No problem at all, mate. Well done. Well done, darling. Just stand over here. Have you enjoyed it? I have very much. That's brilliant. And you shot well. You've got the high bird tie. 
Even I haven't got one of them. It's that sting you won't give me one. But I'm not good enough, he says. So it's, but well done anyway, Chloe. Brilliant. Brilliant. All right, buddy. Well done. Thank okay, you. man. Well shot. Thank you so yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, George, what a roaring success, and thank you very much for hosting the day with your co host. You're very welcome, Dave. Kieran, what a keeper. Eh? Right. Third generation as well from the Crofties. Learned everything he knows of Uncle Frank. He certainly has. And, yep. and rest at keepers as well. So, what do you think? Are you going to be a full time keeper one day, or are you going to go down the coal mine like me? Well, keeper. Keeper. Good lad, that's what I like to hear. Well done, buddy. Well done. Yeah. So what do you think of youngsters coming into the shooting world today? Then do you think there's a, a, a big field to Frank? Ah, I think there is. Yeah. There's got to be, isn't there? Yeah. There's got to be up. Yeah. There's got to be up. I mean, yeah. from all walks of life, those kids, won't they? Well, I look at this way, mate, with shooting and, and all country sports. For me, there's nothing finer than seeing kids running about in the countryside, growing up proper around proper men mm. who's got proper models. Yeah. And you, you can guarantee, if you put a 10-year-old city boy outside of a 10-year-old country boy, that you'll see the difference. It's a remarkable difference as well. You'll see the difference in mannerisms and the knowledge of what these, what, what, what these young lads know at, the, at, at, the early, at an age of 12-year-old. Because this lad is only 12-year-old, but he yeah. knows as much as any man at 40-year-old yeah, about the countryside. The off, he'll know to survive, won't he? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But today, for me... You know, we saw him in that last drive, there wasn't a greedy gun, there wasn't a parent being greedy. Unreal. Absolutely, yeah. and polite, yeah. Yeah. and all well-mannered. And yeah. the little girls, they did really well. As far as I'm concerned, the country, the shooting sports and the countryside sports makes proper gentlemen. You know, from little kids, they grow, into, they grow very quickly into proper gentlemen, brought up with models, and, yeah, and they love it. Well done, buddy. Well, what a fantastic experience for all our kids on pegs. Water Priory did not let us down. I do hope, even in these difficult times, that our shooting community finds it in their hearts to help kids get a day out in the countryside. Even if it is only a bit of beating, it's better than being stuck in the home on a PlayStation learning nothing. And thank you to everyone who made the day possible. Oh, don't forget, we will see you at the British Shooting Show in February. <laughs>